we're going to explore in this lesson how to place an option trade. We're going to take a look at how to do that from the chart window as well as how to do that from Options Explorer. So first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we have streaming enabled if you are going to be trading live or trading paper trading. Um, you do need streaming if you're going to operate with Options Explorer, so we want to take that into consideration for your data package. Um, we want to make sure that we have the order bar open to the right hand side that's currently um, a part of the chart window. We want to make sure that part is open as well. And then also if you do not currently have this icon on your top toolbar, you want to make sure that you add that icon to your toolbar. Along the top right hand side of the order bar there is a button here that we can click on for underlying. So we're going to point our mouse at that button and left mouse click. And on the chart window we can see that we have new lines appearing. These lines will represent where the option will expire. Okay now that we have selected to place an option order you can also decide whether or not you are going to trade from a certain account. Uh, you may have live accounts or paper traded accounts in this list. We'll then select a uh, quantity of the option if we're going to be purchasing one option or two or three. Uh, we can change the quantity there. Then we'll go down and decide whether or not this will be a buy or a sell. So once you click the button you can then move your mouse cursor over to the chart window and you'll notice that uh, your mouse cursor when we move it along the line here we get calls and puts the strike price is in the middle but if you move your mouse cursor further away from those lines you can also place an order for the underlying symbol as well but again we're placing an option order so let's say we're gonna place it here uh, we're gonna create a buy call and we'll click the button Notice now on the order bar under strategy legs, we currently see the order that was created. This will be a call buy for the quantity of two. So that shows us our strategy legs. Now we can create a maximum of four strategy legs within this window. So to place this entry order, we're creating just one leg and then we'll click on create ticket. Now in Options Explorer, the ticket received from Trade Navigator is displayed and it shows us the information about the order. Again, here we see that it's the AME. Uh, it gives us the date of the uh, contract as well as the strike price information, long market, and do we wish to park or place this order. Now if we park the order, the order will sit in Options Explorer until you do eventually place the order or if we click place order now this will send the order to the portfolio and that's it you've completed placing your order from the charts in trade navigator now let's take a look at placing the order directly from options explorer so now we're going to take a look at placing an order directly from Options Explorer. So before we did that while we were on the chart window, but now we're creating the order directly from Options Explorer. So under the graph, we can select the type of order that we're going to place. But let's say we're going to do a vertical bear bull. Now that we've selected that as our option, notice that the strategy graph has changed. It also is displaying to us what type of orders will be placed when we create the order. Now all we need to do is click inside of the in the money area or outside of the money area next to the strike price uh, that we want to create the order for. So let's say that we're going to put in a buy call here for a vertical bear and when you click now we have the order ticket that is displayed and in the order ticket we can take a look or make any changes with our order uh, but if we're satisfied with the order at this time we'll confirm the total and click either to park the order or place the order 
Here we'll place the order and now the order ticket is confirming the order. Uh, and do we wish to continue at this time and we'll say yes. And that is your order completed in Options Explorer.